I know Pat is the Kemi Mutombo man. Everybody can say whatever they want to say, but no one does it like Pat. No, 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 not today, not in Mars. And welcome back, Pat from the Fantasy Basketball Show. Today we're going to be taking a look at some buy-low targets again, players you might want to deal right now before either the trade deadline or some other circumstances take place. So be sure to hit that like and subscribe button before we start. It really helps our channel out and you'll also keep getting these videos on a daily basis if you hit that notification bell when you subscribe. If you have any questions about your team, ask us in that comment section below. We always answer every single question and then check out our Discord also below. Over 1,400 members, one of the biggest fantasy sport Discords out there. So now let's get into this show. So starting us off, we have Scotty Barnes. Scotty Barnes has posted 11 points or less in five of his last 11 games, and he's posted seven points or less in four of his last 11. So in those last 11 games, Barnes has posted two points in one of those games, so he's clearly slumping. And now might be the perfect opportune time to make a trade offer to an opposing manager and see if you can get him cheap, as somebody might be trying to get rid of him, especially if they're on the fringe of making the playoffs and they want that extra push and just don't want to rely on Scotty Barnes anymore. But rest assured, as Barnes is definitely worth trading for, He's capable of putting up almost a block and a steal per game and gets you 15 points in around five rebounds and five assists while shooting a couple threes here and there. So a player that definitely is a must add in terms of buying low right now. Shoots around 45% from the floor. His free throw percentage is a little bit shaky around that 75% mark, but you know, you could do worse with a player. So Barnes doesn't really have any glaring weaknesses, just slumping right now. So see if you can make an offer. Definitely worth seeing what could happen as he's your top buy low target at this moment. And next, we move to D'Anthony Melton. So only 18 total points in his last three games. He had a zero-point game in between there, but he's now posted five steals in his last three games, had a two-steal game the night before. So the minutes are maybe dipping a bit right now. He's not in the starting lineup, but he's still going to be a player that can get you a lot of steals. He still ranks number two in terms of steals per game with 1.9. So that number shouldn't dip too far from the top five rankings overall in the league. So see if you can make a deal right now for D'Anthony Mellon. As he epitomizes what a buy low player should be, as he can clearly bounce back from this, still get you around one or two threes per game. So on the plus side, he took seven threes last game. He only made one, but he usually makes a good amount of them. So make an offer for D'Anthony Mountain right now. He also gets quite a bit of rebounds, 4.4 rebounds already in the month of January. So he's getting a lot of those, a lot of threes, a lot of steals. Maybe the points will dip a little bit, but he can still give you a substantial edge in those three and D categories. And then we take a look at Spencer Dinwiddie. So his numbers have dropped from 50% shooting in the month of October to 46% shooting in the month of November, all the way down to 44% in December, and now 39% shooting in the month of January. So some frustrated managers could get mad and just want to get a player that's going to shoot a better percentage from the floor. He was averaging 1.2 steals per game in the month of November, but that number dropped to 0.6 steals per game in December, and now 2.4 steals per game in January. So those numbers are slumping right now too, in addition to his points where he's now averaging only 13.8 points so far in January, down from his 15.6 in December, and 17.3 points per game average in the month of November. So Dinwiddie is seeing a considerable dip right now in a lot of his averages, so that makes him a perfect candidate to see if you can get cheap right now, averaging just one three per game, five games into January, down from his 2.6 in December, and he's also already had an 11-point game, a 12-point game, and 13-point game in December. So his numbers are considerably dipping, making him a perfect candidate right now to get at a bargain price. So that does it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps our show out, and you'll keep getting these videos daily. Check out our Discord also below. We'll see you next time. Not in Mars.